Hi there, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well. Thank you for watching this clip on solving an exponential equations. The rule of thumb is this. We don't have to use logarithm if the base is anywhere connected to each other. So half is equal to 2 to the minus 1. 4, of course, is equal to 2 squared. Now, using that, we can trick the system without using the logarithm. It gets a little bit messier with logarithm. So let's rewrite the left side into 2 minus 1 to the 2x minus 1 equal to 2 to the 2x. When the exponential look like they're about to multiply, multiply them. That's one of the rules for exponentials. So you have a minus 1 times 2x minus 1 equal to 2x. Okay, so then they have 1 minus 2x is equal to 2x. That's a pretty easy one to solve from there. 1 is equal to 4x, or x is equal to 1 over 4. Okay. Now let's make sure the work actually fits in our original equation. Let's try it. 1 and a half quarter times 2, so 2 times quarter minus 1, is it really true it's equal to 4 to the quarter power? Let's take a look. So on this side, we have a half, 2 to the times half, that's 1 and a half minus 1. Is it really equal to 2 to the 2 and a quarter? Here is 2 to the minus half. It looks like I'm missing a minus sign here somewhere. Two to the half. Okay, now where, where did I miss the minus sign? Two to the minus one. Oh, that's what it is, a minus sign. Minus half, minus half. Okay, so this is because one and a half is equal to two to the minus one. I missed this minus sign. So as you can see, two to the half is equal to 2 to the half. Check. So our final answer is correct. And then indeed x is equal to quarter. Well, I hope it's, this is clear. Once again from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pan making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time, have a confident day.